Imagine this scenario. You're out there fishing, having the time of your life, vacationing, relaxing, and suddenly a phone buzzes and the message says your website has crashed because an automatic update of a plugin or a theme caused a problem on your website. Well, what do you do in that case? Well, my friend, you need to understand how to roll back to a previous version of a theme or plugin in WordPress. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. Let's get started. Method number one to roll back a theme or a plugin in WordPress is the manual method. For that, you will have to go to the official wordpress.org page for the theme or the plugin and scroll down right here where you see the advanced view. Go to the advanced view, scroll to the bottom of the page right here and you have the option of downloading a specific version of the plugin. Go back to a stable version that you are sure that works for you. Download the plugin or file from here and then upload it to WordPress. And then as soon as you upload it to WordPress, WordPress will detect that you're trying to upload the same plugin, but a, a different version. And it will give you this notice on the screen. Just click confirm and then WordPress will automatically replace the new version with the old version, which should work on your website. Method number two to roll back a theme or a plugin in WordPress is to see if the product itself supports a rollback feature. For example, I'm using the Astra theme right now, which we make. I'm on the latest version and I have the pro license activated. And if I go down here, I can see a rollback option right here. So if I want to roll back to a previous version of Astra, I have five of the previous versions to choose from and also for the pro version as well. And all I have to do after selecting one of these options, for example, let's say, let's select uh, 3.7.4, I just have to click the rollback option and it will roll back to the previous version that I just selected. That's the easy way, that's part two. All right, method number three that you can use to roll back themes and plugins, which is the most flexible way in my opinion, and it also acts like a version management system where you can roll back to any version that you like, is by using a dedicated plugin. And the plugin of choice that I'm gonna to recommend to you is called WP Rollback. As you see on the screen right now, I am on the, or I just searched for WP Rollback in the plugins menu, and this is the plugin of choice, WP Rollback. It's made by impress.org. Let's install the plugin. I'll quickly show you how easy it is to roll back themes and plugins in WordPress by using this plugin. So the plugin is installed and activated on my website and I'm inside the install plugin menu of my website and you can probably see how this plugin works. For example, let's choose the Sidekit plugin by Google once again. And if I want to roll back that plugin, all I have to do is go back to the plugin's name and see a rollback link right here. Just click on that link and it will give me or bring me to a menu which lists down previous versions of the plugin as well. So let's say we uh, chose 1.4.0 uh, previously. Let's choose that plugin once again. You can also view the change log right here. So let's say if you are a techie, you understand how this works. Maybe you can raise the change log to understand where that appropriate or major change happened, where it's not compatible with your website. So let's for safekeeping, let's uh, choose 1.4.0 and just click the rollback option right here. It'll give you a warning that, okay, you're rolling back and blah, 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 which is obviously important. Also backup, which is also important. Backup your website regularly, guys, if you're not backing up your website. Click the rollback button and it'll start rolling back to the previous version that you selected. Let's wait for it to finish and then I'll tell you how it works. And the rollback version is now installed. Let's activate it. And now you can see that the 1.4.0 version that we selected is now installed on our website. Pretty easy to do, pretty simple to do, and pretty fast to do. Now this plugin also works with themes and you can roll back themes to previous versions. Let me show you how that works. To roll back themes with this plugin, all you have to do is go to the appearance and theme section right here. For example, let's again take the example of the Astra theme, which I'm using right now. I'll click this button and it will open up the familiar interface. But now you also see the rollback option right here. If I click this button, It'll again bring me to a menu where I'll be able to select uh, one of the previous versions of Astra. For example, let's go back to 3.7.3 just for kicks. And of course, uh, you don't see changelog here. Sometimes it works for changelog, sometimes it doesn't work. But all you have to do is click or select the version that you would like to roll back to. Just click the rollback option. Again, the same warning, backups, everything, which is important, follow that. Click the rollback button and then uh, the plugin will start rolling back to the previous version of the theme as well. And it'll just take a minute or uh, maybe a few different, a few seconds to finish this process. And once it's done, you will have the previous version of your uh, theme installed on your website. And as you can see right here, it's already done. And that's how easy it is to roll back to previous versions of any theme or plugin on your WordPress website. Make sure to have regular backups so that you can avoid the situation altogether. And if you want to learn how to create backups on your website, you can watch this video right here. As always, you're watching Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. I'll catch you in the next video and make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you then. Take care, stay safe and have fun.